love story about a girl. Cute little baby girl. Who didn't have a childhood that she deserved. Growing up under an abusive mother and things. She didn't have no friends. Didn't finish her education. Wasn't allowed to go out. Or even to talk to people. Not to date. After two decades, a little girl had the left. And she snaps. She reached out to someone to end her pain by ending her mother's life. She just wanted to end her pain. She wanted the pain to stop. She wanted to live. Listen, the case is very heartbreaking. It is sad. And the most heartbreaking shit that this thing actually happens more than you think. It's everywhere, literally. She's so brave. Literally, when I was watching the trials, and when I was reading about the case before making this video, I couldn't because, like, seeing a brave person that... I'm glad that she's free right now. She get to live her life. Finally, she's out of her pain. After serving eight to five of her sentence, which is eight years and something, she's out right now. She's free. She has a wonderful husband to live her life. Well, that's a side of the story. That all of the internet is talking about. I love that. I support it. She's a free woman right now. But the other side of the story that I'm making this video for. About the boyfriend. Or I think I should call him the ex because she's married to another dude right now. Like, he's an autistic kid. Little to no other action. Zero social skills. He spends most of his day just scrolling into the internet on dating sites. One day, he meet the love of his life. Start dreaming of a nice, amazing future for her. Starting a family and having kids. But there is a thing with that girl. She was abused. She wasn't allowed to date. The biggest issue in their relationship was the mother. Little by little, getting to know that girl even more, the girl started telling him more about her relationship with her mother. Start opening up even more about the actual abuse. The fake illness that the mother had to put the daughter Nick being the loving boy that he is, he needed to do something. He needed to save the girl. And one day, that girl suggested that Nick ends the mother's life. He refused at first. He suggested running away. The girl was afraid, saying that that won't work and it will make the situation at home even worse. So the only choice was to end the mother's life. One night, Nick took the bus to his room, stayed in a hotel two days before the actual murder, started checking on the texting her at night because she wasn't allowed again to date or to talk to people. Checking up on her and just making sure that the plan was still on. The night of the murder, around 3 a.m., the girl slightly opens the front door of the house with the gloves for Nick, waiting Save the girl. Just 
just take her off the house and run away with her. That's the angel side. No, that me is dead. The evil side. At that time, he's already entering the house. The girl stayed. Why is that all of a sudden? What a twist in the story, you might ask. I think so. Nick's personalities, as he said, he was the evil. So Nick, or shall I say Victor, agreed on the murder, but one condition. Whether he are were the dead body, or he are were the girl wouldn't allow it for the mother to remember. She wanted the baby to stop. She did not want to be back. She was out of the bathroom. They had sexual interaction in the other room. Next, the body. As the girl says, it was consensual at first, but then she pursued and asked to stop. But it didn't stop. After that, they cleaned up the scene. They left the motel that Nick was staying in. Stayed for a while. Sent the weapon to Nick's mother's house. And they took the bus going back to Nick's house. What a happy ending to a nice couple, right? Wrong. The girl felt guilty. She wanted people to find the mother. One day, she opened her Facebook page, posting that B is dead as Victor said. After that, the police came in from the scene, obviously, and they, they thought that the girl was missing. Didn't take him while until they arrested him. The girl was sentenced into 10 years in prison, and Jake was sentenced.